All right, so today we're gonna take a look at this wireless remote control. This is made for Sony cameras. So if you have a Sony A6000, the 6300, 6500, and the A7S II and the A7R II, uh, this remote is really cool if you're recording videos by yourself or taking pictures, it's awesome. So stick around and we're gonna take a look at this wireless remote control. All right, so let's get into it. I'm actually gonna show you all the wireless remote shutter controls that I own. Uh, this is stuff that you can get online. If you stick around to the end, I'm gonna show you another one that I don't actually own, but I think it's way better than all of these three to combined. Uh, so let's start with the first one. This is by Photo and Tech. This costs about $10. And what this allows you to do is to set off the uh, shutter remote just for taking pictures. Uh, so let's say you're doing a stop motion or time lapse or taking a picture of yourself. You probably want this and hit the button and you can take a picture without having to be behind the camera. Uh, so that's really cool. Then I lost this thing and I had to buy another one and I bought this from Newer. It does the same thing. It has a shutter remote and also has just like this one, like the photo and tech, it has a two second delay. If you're taking pictures of yourself, doing time lapses or stop motion. If you wanna learn about stop motion, I have a video here you can check out. So these remotes are fine just for taking pictures, but when it comes to recording myself like I am right now, they these two can't do that. That's why I bought this uh, remote by JJC. It's called the RM DSLR2 and this, can do what these remotes can do, but it can also uh, start and stop the recording. Uh, if there's a middle button that you can click and it'll start the recording and then you click the same button and it'll stop the recording. It also has other buttons which allow you to control the, uh, the menu settings, but I don't particularly use that. The most useful thing in this remote is having the ability to record and stop yourself because otherwise you have to go and run behind the camera hit the record button, make sure you're recording, come back to the spot where you need uh, to be in order to start the recording and then repeat the whole process. Whenever you need to stop because you mess up or anything like that, which I do often, I have to run again back to the camera, stop myself and, and remember my wording and then start the whole process again. It, it's just time consuming. This saves time. I can start and stop from where I am sitting right now or standing right now and you know it just speeds up the whole workflow all right so the clear winner from all these three is the jjc remote just because it has the start and stop record uh button um this can do what these two controls can do so these are out of the picture but in my opinion there's a, an even better remote uh than this one and it's actually made made by the same company jjc they have a remote i think it's called the rms1 and that control only has three buttons it has the shutter release button, it has the two second delay shutter release button, and it has the start and stop recording button. In my opinion, that's the only three buttons you need because with this, JJC has many more buttons, but I don't use them at all. I actually like to control the menu settings from the camera itself. All right, guys, I hope you found this useful, and if you did, please give me a thumbs up. Also, if you're wondering about any of the products I mentioned, I'll have the links in the description. If I wasn't clear about anything, or if you have further questions, please drop them down your questions in the comment section. Also, if you haven't already subscribed, please go ahead and do so because I'm making videos like this every week and you don't want to miss them. So I hope you have a good one and I'll see you in the next video.